Hello everyone, my name is Citra Novita and in this opportunity I would like to deliver my presentation and the material is about language and the brain. This material is about language and brain. So let's discuss about it together. Verse explanation is about language. And then what is language? According to Ferdinand the sources, language is the most prominent distinguishing feature of a social group. Because with language, each social group feels itself as a different unit from other groups. So, um, we can conclude that language is the identify of a group that differentiates it from other groups. Language uh, also is a tool or medium in communicating and without human language it will be very difficult for humans to convey their desire and opinions. Without language, human might live like unseen people who communicate only with gesture and gesture. Next is what is brain? Uh, brain is part of human body that has a very important role. The brain acts as the body's control center which collaborates with other parts of the body which allows human to carry out a various activities such as walking, talking, and crying. Next, uh, we have the shape of human brain. The first is bronchus area. Uh, the function of this area is to produce meaningful language so that someone can speak fluently and wisely. Someone will able to speak fluently as well as with when this area of bronchi is functioning well or in other terms someone can speak sensibility when the function uh, of this area of bronchi is in a good condition. Second is Wernick's area which function to understand the statement made by the speaker and process the language. Next is the motor cortex, which has an important role and function to enable the formation, maintains um, termination of movements carried consequently, cons cons consciously. Sorry, this section usually focus on the movement of certain muscles such as special nerves like hands, um, tongue, and also face. And the last is the acute fasciculus. The main function of this area is a link between vernix area and bronchus area. In addition, this area also work together as a network in processing word sequence to determine context and meaning. It also allows the ability to understand language or be receptive. After that, the complement is the ability to produce language or uh, so-called so uh, expressiveness. expressiveness. Now, we are talking about the rule of right and left hemisphere. The right hemisphere controls the left side of the human body, while the left hemisphere functions to control the right side of the body. We could say that this right hemisphere is uh, more visual and intuitive, uh, but it is sometimes referred to as the analog brain. Direct hemiper is considered to have a more creative but less in organized way of thinking. And then, for left hemiper, it is considered the more academic and logical side of the brain. Left brain function related to logic, fake, 
and mathematics and the last explanation is about how language process in human brain so when we listen when we listen understand and then say the word then at the moment a term known as the language process occur the first process of this activity is hearing the words spoken by someone or heard and then capture and also understood by Renik area continue uh, the signal is uh, sent through the arcuate fasciculus to Bruca and prepares for the production process of the word to be issued finally the signal that has been produced is uh, sent to the motor cortex area to physically articulate the word and I think that's all from my presentation I do apologize if I have many mistakes in my presentation thank you for your attention